slut, you miss uh, How many M's you want? Uh, she no good for me uh, But she make me feel at home Damn, I run my shit I run the city like I'm a boy You too, what it do, man? It's your boy Wavy, hey, T-Man And I'm back with another video As most of y'all may know I decided to comb my locks out about 45 days ago. So, I've been lockless and I've been living the lockless lifestyle. And I must say, there are pros to it and there are cons to it. And if I'm being quite honest, I miss I miss my locks. Y'all said I was gonna miss them and I, I ain't believe y'all, I ain't believe y'all. But, I miss my locks and I'm ready to start part two, AKA season two. And in season two, we're gonna make sure that we get everything right that we got wrong in season one. So behind me, I have a whiteboard and I have a marker. And we are gonna be sitting here customizing my season two locks. For some of y'all, this may be your second season, this may be your third season, this may be your fourth season. You may still be on your first season. I'm curious, so let me know, drop it down in the comments. Also, in this video, I want you to follow along. And if you haven't started your locks yet, I want you to mentally or even write it down if you got to every phone has notes and i guarantee you're watching this on the phone so in your notes i want you to literally jot down what you're going to go to your loctician and ask for one of the biggest mistakes i made in my first season of locks and my first lock journey was not doing enough research i did some research i definitely did some research and i learned some stuff but you don't know exactly what you're doing until you go through it you can't talk about something that you've never done and that's why I'm happy I'm restarting my dreads is because I can speak from experience and I can somewhat talk about what others have done based on my comment section based on you know peers based on you know the lot community that we are all a part of before we get in the video though man make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I drop a new video man let's get right into it all right boom so to start off we're gonna write down season two. Cause this is our second lock journey. I, I just like, I like season two better. You feel me? But in season two, there are four major categories that have an impact on your lock journey. Let's write that down as well, class. Make sure you're taking notes. Four major categories. Write that down, write that down, write that down. Those four categories are lock parting style, the haircut that you have, The starting method, and say the last one. Anybody got to guess what the last one is? Correct. The lock count slash size. Because you're going to run into the locticians. You're going to walk in there and say, I want 130 locks. They're going to look at you and say, <laughs> okay. Okay, the Kodak man, they're gonna say, okay, I got you. They just gonna do small parts. So, you gotta kinda have an idea of the amount of locks you want, the starting method, the haircut, and the lock party styles. So, first thing we're gonna go over is the lock parting style. The lock parting style is the different ways your hair can be parted. If you're curious and you want a deeper dive into the lock parting styles, I'm gonna attach the video right here. Feel free to go check it out. I'm also gonna put it down in the description below. I already made a video on the lock party styles, so let's go over a couple of them. They got one, they got the grid pattern. The grid pattern is literally a grid. If you've ever been in math class and they got a grid, it's, it's a grid. <laughs> there's, there's, there's not much else to it, you feel me? Next after that, we got the brick. Brick is, when you think about a building, if you go look at a building that got bricks, the bricks ain't on top of each other. They're kind of like offset like this. 
So your locks are gonna kind of be falling. You know, let me let me draw a picture for you real quick. We're in class, you feel me? You feel me? So that's the brick style right there. A grid style is like that. They're gonna go right in a row like that. Next up, we got free parts. Free parts have a lot of different names. Some people call them natural parts. Some people call them free parts. Some people call them scatter parts. Some people call them, you know, random parts. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of different names. Usually people that come from free forms end up with free parts. My first lock style was free parts. And it was, it was, I like that. I like the free parts. But right now I'm debating on whether I want to go with brick or free parts. There are also two more. We got crescent. I don't know if I spelled that right. I'm not a, I'm not a spelling teacher. I'm a dread teacher. And then lastly, diamond parts. So crescent. Is exactly what you sound like they're more of like circles slash like ovals you know what I mean it's like a, it's a circle and then obviously diamond parts are some of the most like unique hard party styles not every loctician can do diamonds so I personally feel like you getting a retwist with diamond parts they're gonna charge you more just because it's a harder harder style hey that's me though I'm not a loctician I don't know I feel like the diamonds gonna you know fade over time the diamond parts are super cool though. Don't let me discourage you from going with diamond parts. It's definitely something that you can go with. Like I said, free parts are just random, random parts. They, they take the hair and they, they do that. So boom, those are our lock styles. Next up, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about haircuts. Right now, this right here, this is considered a mid taper. So we got mid taper. After that, we're gonna go high taper. High taper is literally what you think it is. It's literally the hair is gonna kinda be like up here a little bit more. You ain't gonna have no C cups or nothing. It's gonna be all up here and it's all gonna be faded. So you're gonna have maybe, maybe five or six more locks if you go to mid taper. After that, low taper. Tapers are some of the most highly common lock styles just because they're easy to cut, they're simple, and you get to retain a good amount of dreads. Low taper, I'm gonna start probably like right here. You're gonna gain maybe three, four more dreads just right there. You feel me? Low taper right there. Less, less, less haircuts you gotta get. There are some benefits to it. After that, we got the drop top. AKA the drop fade. The drop fade, I'm gonna be throwing pictures of all these up. So drop fade right there. It's literally a fade around your head. It's not a high top. It's not a high top, but it could end up a high top easier just because the amount of haircuts you end up getting. After that, the high top. The high top is one of the most joked about lock styles in the lock community, if I'm being honest. So if you're new to the lock community and you wanna start off with high top locks, do it because you want it. You know what I'm saying? Don't let anybody discourage you from doing it. But I will say people do talk down on the high top locks. Just keep it in the honey. Don't shoot the messenger. I myself have made some jokes. But there are some fire high top locks out there. My boy JDOCE. Fire. <laughs> fire. You feel me? Hey, and there, there are more. There are more. But that's not the point of this video. Lastly, the last haircut we got. The sky top. The sky top, I recommend the sky top for somebody who like super big, you know what I'm saying? Super somebody that, you know, don't really care about what somebody gonna say. Sky top is exactly what it sounds like. Just think of a skyscraper on top of your head. Like this. It's the only locks right here. You got about five locks, seven locks. <laughs> Retwist, they gonna charge you 20 bucks. <laughs> you feel me? But Let's go on to the next one. With haircuts, there's a subcategory. We're gonna call these the back taper and the front taper. One of the biggest things I feel like I messed up my first time in my lock journey was 
not having a front taper. That has been fixed. If you wanna learn how to do your front taper by yourself, click on my YouTube channel. I got all these tutorials on my channel. They're there for a reason. Go check them out. But back taper, I used to not have a back taper. I grew my back taper out. It used to be way bigger, but I grew it out and then I cut it again just because when I get styles, even when I had locks and when I have braids now, it pulls so bad on my neck that I was like, I need a, I need a back taper. I need something back there. My little baby hairs all back there was super just yanked and I couldn't take it no more. So I created myself a back taper. You have to make a decision whether you are gonna do back taper or not. Next up, starting method. This is one of the most important categories. Either way, you gotta learn to trust the process and let the process do itself. No matter what method you pick right here, you ain't gonna lock up any faster. I mean, maybe some people might have opinions saying you're gonna lock up faster, but my opinion, no, you're not. It is what it is. But let's go with the most popular one, AKA the one I did. Coils, AKA cone coils. Coils are literally when they take it here, they wrap it up with a cone with some holding spray and you let it do its thing. Next month, month and a half, you come back, you get it retwisted, they twist it up, cone coils. That's what it is. Ain't nothing else to it. After that, two strand. Two strands, usually you retain a little bit more length. If you're curious on them starting methods, I made a video on that too. <laughs> I got videos on everything. But hey, I'll probably drop some new ones just cause like I said, I know a little bit more now, so I'll be dropping a little bit more videos. If you got any questions or any comments, let me know down in the comments or any specific videos that you want. I'll remake them, you know what I'm saying? I'll make them better than what I did before. I kind of like this method of me being a teacher right here. After that, we got braids. What is it, the braids? We got braids. Braids are like, probably not the, the the most popular. I really haven't ran into a lot of people that said they started with braids. I have, there are benefits, there are pros and cons. That's the starting method, look into it. After that, we got the freeform method. I don't really recommend a freeform method just cause when you're doing freeforms, you're letting your hair do what it do. You're not separating it. When you go get it separated, they gotta cut it with scissors. They gotta do all types of crazy stuff. Your parts gonna be uneven. You got thin ones, you gotta have, I don't recommend it, but if that's, if that's what you want to do, you don't want to go through a little ugly stage, I get it. I get it. This second time around, during my live journey, I'm going to try not to talk a lot of stuff about people and, you know, talk down on certain methods because some people like those methods, some people did. But instant locks are when they take a crochet needle and literally make you locks that day. They do look kind of weird. Can't nobody, I don't care what you say, Kings McDread, whatever his name is, this is why you shouldn't get instant locks. All your shit's gonna look like this and feel like this. Instant locks look weird, they look different. You can't, you can't show me an instant lock that looks like a natural lock. Maybe, maybe, let me, let me bite my tongue. You might be able to find some good ones, but majority of the time, instant locks are hard. Uh, like I said, instant lock warriors out there. I'm sorry, but you can't change my mind on that. Instant locks, crochet needle. And then we got the Kaisenat method. AKA lock extensions. I don't recommend it. You can do it. You put lock extensions in your hair, make it look long. Then when it gets to the point where your hair, real hair got long enough, you cut them out. Boom. Next category, lock count slash lock size. Lock count and lock size matters for a couple reasons. First reason I wanna hit on, longevity. If you get skinny locks, you're gonna have thinning locks. I don't care what you say. They're gonna thin. 
especially if they're on the edges and you got a barber that's you know nicking your hair over time they're gonna get thin they're gonna fall out you're gonna have to make them congos yada 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 like i said that comes down to your barber and your lock tissue they could be you know grabbing your hair yanking it and taking hair out your lock and now it gets thinner and thinner and thinner and now you got a thin lock it's falling out number two retwist times your retwists are not going to take long if you have less locks less locks you got probably the less they're going to charge you typically the less they're going to charge you and lastly the styles you can do you can do most styles when you got smaller locks if you got bigger locks some of the styles just don't look as as good you know they kind of look like wicks at a certain point but it's all up to you i'm gonna throw a couple pictures up here of a couple people with certain amount of number of locks if you're in the lock community most of the time you know how many locks you got if you know how many locks you got drop down in the comments right now i'm curious i want to know how many locks you got how many locks you recommend somebody to get but we got small medium large just put the fries in the bag bro <laughs> just put the fries in the bag bro no but common sense small parts medium parts large parts the smaller parts you have the more locks you have the type of haircut you have the more the less locks you can get you see, all this correlates with each other. <laughs> it all correlates with each other. So, subcategory. I say, I had, in my first journey, I had 130 some locks total. By the time I ended my lock journey, I had 121. The reason why I gained locks, I grew my back taper out. So I gained locks. The reason why I lost locks, some of them got thin, so I started combining them with a crochet needle. One of them fell out, not fell out, but I cut it out. Yeah, long story. Videos on my channel, I cut it out. So yeah, I had 130 locks. I had 130 locks. I'd say I was kind of happy with the amount of locks I had. It's, it's a good amount. To give you perspective, Gunther has 150 locks, 150 plus locks. Started with 150 plus locks. Same thing with me. Some fall out, some get crocheted together. It happens. It's part of the lock journey. You probably know what I'm talking about. J Lab, 100 locks. He has a full head. I'm thinking 100 locks is the money spot. Uh, Kai Sinat, 18 dreads. He has Mohawks. He has Mohawk dreads. He probably has more than that. I'm just kind of trolling this a little bit. DDG. Same thing, same boat. He has high tops. 18 dreads. What can I say? But, 70 dreads. I can't really name somebody that got 70 dreads, but 70 seemed like a, you know, a, a nice money spot. 50 or lower. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I just threw those options there just because we're at the point where we have hit the deciding factor of what I'm going to do with my lock journey. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more so y'all can make sure y'all got y'all notes and everything. Um, and then we're going to go through and circle what I'm going to be doing on my lock journey. So for my lock journey, like I said, right now what I'm thinking about is the brick party style. Low key, I want to do free parts again. So this one, I'm gonna circle both of them. It's gonna be a surprise, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm a surprise, y'all. Something I can't really change right now is my type of haircut. So we're sticking with the mid taper. I can grow my taper out like JB, but I don't feel like doing that. Starting method. Starting method I'm gonna go with is the one that I know the most. The coils. A lot of people start with coils. My guy Chris started with coils. They look fantastic. I started with coils. They look fantastic. J Lab started with coils. They look fantastic. A lot of people start with coils. It's kind of one of the most simple ones. It's one of the most easiest ones. And like I said, they, they do look like worms. So be prepared. They look like worms. But you'll get over it. It's worth it. And lastly, I'm going right in between here. 
I'm going medium. I'm going for 100 locks. I want to be at 100 locks, a little bit under, a little bit over. One or two, but 100 locks would be perfect. Luckily, my girlfriend is my loctician, so we can take our time and we can make sure I get the number of locks that I want. But anyways, medium is the lock size that I'm going for. That completes today's lesson. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If this is your first lock journey, let me know down in the comments that, hey, you locked in and you're ready to go. I will be starting my lock journey here in the near future. Today is July 31st. This video will probably come out in the next day or two. Minus all this, the lock journey is more than a hairstyle. The lock journey is you learning yourself. The lock journey is you learning about others. And the lock journey is about you embracing yourself and letting your hair do its natural thing. Letting it grow, you taking care of it. Your hair is like a plant, it soaks up the energy, it soaks up the water, the, the free the roots spray that you put in there, the oil that you put in there, it's all important. But I will be here to help you throughout your whole journey and I want you guys to be there to help me throughout my whole journey. Season two on the way, man. If you're new to the channel, like I say, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and hit that subscribe button. That's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure y'all join the wave. And stay wave, man. I am the one, the way your time don't need a gun to get respect up on the street.